Hello Superfan, Super Steve here, and before we start this new video, I just hope that you all had a, a happy 4th of July and all that, so, yeah, so yeah, hope that you all had a fun 4th of July with your friends and family, so, um, yeah, with all that being said, let's continue what am I about to say, uh, anyways, well, welcome back to part 2 of, of Summer of the Spire First fan art, which that this series is based on the new uh, upcoming Spider-Man movie from Sony and Marvel called Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And I'll be showing you guys some fan arts that I made of different other Spider-Mans uh, that are from other dimensions. So yeah, this is part two. And, and, and the first part that I show you was, was three Spider-Man fan arts, which was the original Spider-Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man, and Spider-Girl. So yeah. Uh, I'm about to show you guys three more uh, spider people. So yeah, with all that being said, uh, let's get further into it. Now for the first uh, Spider-Man character I'll be showing you guys is... Spider Nowhere. So yes, this is basically like the black and white version of Spider-Man. And well, let's take a good look at him. So here, here is Spider Nowhere. He, he has like a trench coat on and his mask looks a little bit like Deadpool's mask. And for this Spider-Man, he uses guns for some reason. But I'm sure that there's like, um, well, webs inside. I don't know, I, did, I don't really, I, have, I never read the original comics, but yeah. But yeah, I try looking up some images on Spider Nowhere and I and mostly I see... I see him with trench coats and everything, so I just, so I just uh, give him a trench coat and some boots and gun as well. So yeah, there, there's no really colors that I use for this. It's, it's just uh, usually black because what's the whole point on, on showing all the colors when black is basically the only one. So um yeah, this is Spider Nowhere. Here's his. Uh, name right here, and if you don't know what nowhere means, it means like black and white or something, or I don't know. So um, yeah, here we have a Spider Nowhere, the first Spider Man I'll be showing you guys for today. Now for the uh, next Spider Man I'll be showing you guys uh, is a pretty well known one as well. So uh, let's just move on and see the second one, which is. Spider-Man 2099. So yes, this is um, the futuristic version of Spider-Man. Who I kind of don't know his name, and I don't know uh, the other one's name is. So yeah, I tried. This one was really uh, pretty tough to draw because, well, I I had a little bit of trouble on his on his mask and his whole body suit and everything. Uh, I look up some images on Spider-Man. And 299 and it was a little bit hard but at the same time it was kind of a bit easy so yeah here are the colors I use obviously it's blue and red so yeah th this is Spider-Man 2099 who's basically like the really violent version of Spider-Man he has like pointy sharp things coming out of his arms and and he, he does have a pretty scary looking costume to be honest so, um, yeah, this is Spider-Man 2099, here's his name, the, the futuristic version of Spider-Man, and so, yeah, alright, so, now, so, yeah, now we got to two Spider-Mans, we're now gonna move on with, for today, the last Spider-Person, and, and that is, uh, a really, also well-known one as well, so, the, the last Spider-Man we're gonna be doing today, and I'm gonna be showing you guys today is, Spider Gwen. So yes, here we have is Spider Gwen, who is also who is also known as the other female version of Spider Man, also known as Spider Woman. So yeah, so yeah, in this version, this is Spider Gwen, who her real name is Gwen Stacy, who is another, basically like uh, the other girlfriend of of Peter Parker, which in this universe, Peter Parker died from. A lizard from some type of lizard 
poison or I don't know. I don't know. All, all I heard is that in, in, there was this comic book of Spark when it shows Peter Parker you know, like dying from some kind of poison or something. So, yeah. So here we have his Spider Gwen. Here, here's her web coming out. Yeah, and I make, I try to make her pose a little bit uh, feminine, and just like what I did with Spider Girl, you can see from her eyes are some eyelashes. Uh, I also wanted to make her feminine as, as well, because well, she's basically a Spider Woman. So yeah, here are the colors I use. I use light blue. For her feet, pink, and black. So yeah, th this is basically it uh, for for today's fan art. And if you guys enjoy this um, uh, second part of, of my summer series, then make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell to be notified and be part of the notification squad. And, and part three will be coming out as soon as possible. I don't know when, but well, we'll just see how. So with all that being said, I'll see you super fans in another super video. Super Steve, away!